Alright, so before I share these, I have to share some background. Um, okay, the reason why it came up over text was she was telling me a dream that she had. Um, it went with my prophet tree hole alien dream thing. Um, I will tell that. Um, yeah. Don't write me off for saying the word prophet because, um, yeah, I'll tell you why in a different video. The story, it's a metaphor. Um, also link you to this video. Um, be the master. Be whatever. Anyways, um, yeah, in her dream she said there was a beautiful red-headed woman telling her that she was the Dalai Lama. You know, a different one, but... Yeah, so, I was like, I know who that redhead was. And, uh, it got me digging in, um, my shit. Hold on. Sorry, it's still backwards. Yeah, it's freaking originals in here, but I did some um, scanning on Valentine's Day. Um, yeah, so I sent her this. Okay. Two, fourteen. 10. <laughs> Sleep around 2 a.m., woke up 1 p.m. Okay. <laughs> this dream was very sexual. <laughs> Me and this girl kept sneaking around in this hotel, dot, dot. I guess we didn't pay, question mark, IDK. But it was very fun. Even though I didn't know her, I felt a connection, a strong connection. We kept kissing. I would look at her watching her signs. <laughs> then we went further. I was the one giving. And then I put in parentheses in every way possible, which was like, this is back when I had long hair and, like, I was afraid to, like, do foreplay a lot. But, yeah, the, my notes continue. <laughs> it says, I love pleasing her. We took it to the shower and continued dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I am wondering who this was. If today being Valentine's Day had to do with anything, it may be... Wait, if maybe it was my love from a past life wanting to be with me on Valentine's Day. So she came to me in my dream. <laughs> or maybe I came to her. I never saw her face. Dot, dot, dot. But I remember thinking she was so beautiful. And worked my hardest to please her. <laughs> it felt good. She felt good. Yeah, this is the part. Touching, feeling, rubbing her body felt familiar. The shape. She wasn't stick skinny, which I like. <laughs> she 
had me like thick equals curves. I'm reading my notes, so it's funny. Okay. Curves in all the right places. Okay. Once you remind me a bit of Emma's body, but that's it. When the once the thought came to mind, the dream girl changed into a little black person, naked, crouched in a ball. I was hugging and rubbing its back like I was comforting it. I never saw its face, only its back looking down as I was comforting it. And that's when I woke up. That's like shadow stuff right there. Um, I used to have a picture of what the girl looked like, but I took it off because I was embarrassed of, I used the girl from American Idol. <laughs> I forget her name, but she had red hair, and she had, like, black around her eyes. Like, like, my favorite character, Gara, like that, and she had short hair. And... Damn. There's a lot of metaphor in this. <laughs> but yeah, I remember... Oh. I remember, like, more notes than what I wrote. But I can't really put into words right now. And I'm going to stop this because it's, like, four minutes. <laughs> but yeah, that's my dream. Okay. <laughs> Alright you guys, I want to say that she didn't tell me that I got the redhead image right this as to be the same one that she saw in her dream. Um that would be like a higher self past life form of recognition type thing going on. Um, I've seen mine in um, dream. Okay, I'll, I might as well tell you right now, like, um, I had this dream where it was only like a few seconds long, but it really stood out. Like, it was fast but slow mo, but really stand out. Yeah, um, yeah, I looked. I. It was like in that bathroom. There's like a big ass mirror, and like I look in it, and I freaking see my past life form. Like my face morphed. Like his face was more narrow and. Back then it looked like a boy, but I wasn't sure, cause like, it could have been a girl too, it had like, rounder features, and um, yeah, that was actually a young version of him, I've seen older versions of him, but yeah, I was saying like, narrower face, slightly bigger eyes, smaller ears than mine, mine stick out and his didn't that much, like mine really, Girl. Um, but yeah, really white skin, really glowing white skin, really pale and pale blue eyes, and I know what kind of alien it is. It's Andromian. I don't know how to say it. Andromian. <laughs> but freaking, it took research and this one totally matches perfectly like perfectly I've even had some past life like other planet type meeting another person type dream like the school and they go to school a lot and yeah but I, I didn't I did my research if it um, these things are known for being so beautiful too, and, um, yeah, um, enjoy the next cell phone recorded note, as you can see there's, um, a gap. 
Um, wow. So I wanted to... Okay, I wanted to feel out where my heart was, and, um... <laughs> Like, I don't know. I keep I keep texting a lot, but my view of it isn't negative. <laughs> Especially when compared to before. And I feel tears coming. That's weird, too. <laughs> um... So I try cleaning my mind, feeling out, like, what do I feel like doing right now? Like, and it was still, like, pulling me to the phone, <laughs> to you, and um, I was like, oh, well, I don't know, like, what to say. But then, I was playing with this stick that I set up to burn, like, an incense. <laughs> It's like just to play around and like I burned it and right next to it was my dream journal that I got out that one day that you told me about your redhead dream and um I left it out and I was like oh maybe I'll read a dream to her and keep in mind like I haven't written in this dream journal for a long time so I forgot what's in it but first page I turned to is, um, I guess I skipped a page of notes to include, like, telling you about it, and, um, you know that American Idol picture? I thought I took it out, and I think I actually did, but I think, I guess I put it back in. <laughs> like, screw it, you know? I wrote notes next to the photo, um, I guess I, um, dang, I have a whole nother thing to read to you about the same dream, what? I'm reading it ahead of time to see if I'm getting the right. Um. Okay, so I was talking about a previous dream that I had, and then it gets to the part it says, wake up, back to bed, started making out with, I'm going to make this another voice note, because <laughs> it's going to go over five minutes, because <laughs> like four. <laughs> Man, this is like a freaking mystery that I'm trying to put together right now. <laughs> Okay, see, I have an entry for 214 that I told you about, like that hotel stuff. Then the page that I opened to with that picture, that dream is for 320 instead of Valentine's Day. And I had two dreams, one in the beginning, I'm going to skip. And then there's... Oh my god, I feel so intense right now. Oh my god. Like, I gotta take off my shirt, it's getting hot. <laughs> Helps me breathe better if I do that sometimes. Okay. Wake up, back to bed, started out with me under the chick having sex <laughs> then changed up a bit I wish I remembered it all it was like I was in another life we had sex for a while 
all kinds of different ways I enjoyed pleasing her, and she enjoyed me. <laughs> wow, okay. <sighs> she was the definition of beauty in my eyes. She had shortish red hair. Her hairstyle was amazing. No wonder. Wait, I'm just going to continue. <laughs> A bit of dark eye makeup, blue slash green eyes, amazing figure. I remember it came to a point where the atmosphere was very serious and emotional. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't remember. Um, lost my spot. Okay. Holding each other in each other's arms, sitting up. Against a wall. <laughs> I had to read my writing. <laughs> she tells me she loves me. Dot, dot, dot. And seems afraid of my response. Which surprised me because... I thought it was obvious that I loved her, and <laughs> man, what the fuck? This heart stuff is so. That's so random. <laughs> Man, I seriously, like, this hard stuff trips me out so much. I didn't expect to find, like, anything that I would tell you in this dream journal. Like, I just had a feeling, but I included it in my thought. <laughs> like, I thought it would end up, like, on me just finding something to for notes to myself. And I actually found something to tell you. <sighs> I'm going to make this another note. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Man, I don't remember this part at all. Shit. Okay, now I do. But <laughs> oh, my God. She tells me... She loves me and seems afraid of my response, which surprised me because I thought it was obvious that I loved her and expected her to be the one to not love me. Wow. I had this dream a long ass time ago, you know, life is chippy. <laughs> I whispered to her. My voice wouldn't go any louder at that moment. I love you too. I know she felt it. She seemed so happy. There were tears in her eyes. And she made... The biggest smile. <laughs> we went into the bathroom, which was a bit odd, dot, dot, dot. The house we were in was my house, but a bit different. We both started brushing our teeth with electric toothbrush. <laughs> I had my shirt off. <laughs> okay. My legs shaking so much. Okay. We, uh, okay. 
I had a feeling that I was a boy. Then an ugly version of my dad tried to get a peek at my GF. What the fuck? I don't remember that part. <laughs> See, that was what I previously thought. Like the redhead boy girl. Mine was a boy. I think it was Pleiadian. Based on their big eyes. <laughs> I thought you might have been that chick. <laughs> Seriously, like, I have a strong feeling. Help me connect this. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm going to keep reading. With just a thought, and I'm sure she was thinking it too, he vanished. Huh, I wonder what that means, but... I guess I was reading your head, reading your mind. <laughs> I don't know. That's interesting. <laughs> that boys this convo has happened before. Watching her signs. Uh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's the other dude. Um. Okay, he vanished, which sparked a conversation. I asked her why it looked kind of like my dad. Oh, and she said that definitely wasn't your dad. So I started, then maybe, oh, wait. So I stated, then maybe he appeared different to you then? Question mark. Right? Oh. I started investigating where he, where we were. She didn't seem to like where this was going. We had just confessed our love for each other, maybe even end up getting married. What? <laughs> She got the feeling of how she knew it was too good to be true with an exclamation. I started out by saying I had an OBE, um, astral projection, astral out-of-body experience, meditated, ascended over my roof, and somehow ended up here. That was my previous, um, the part that I skipped. It was astral projection, but I woke up and went back to sleep and had this dream. I guess I was telling you about it. <laughs> um, I asked her, what was the dimension of the planet? Wow, I asked that back then. That's weird. <laughs> we were, oh, she said 40. Then I told her I was from 3D Earth, fourth, fourth dimension of Pleiades? Back then, maybe. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to research that. And then, not after long, I woke up. But there's more nuts, and i got to stop this. <laughs> no. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, this goes, this is the page with the American, I was about to say something else. Forgot. What the fuck? Okay, I'm just hallucinating. So, <laughs> Whew. it's like I gotta catch my breath. <laughs> um, this is an American Idol pick on the next page, and it said, "Oh, I had research notes for dimensions." Anyways. I pointed to the pic and said, the beautiful girl looked kind of like this, except perfected, which was underlined in every way possible, which was underlined as well. <laughs> perfected in every way possible. <laughs> yeah, that's you. <laughs> 
note, in real life, while watching American Idol, I never had a crush on her. <laughs> and I said her name was Lacey Brown, and it was 2010, and... My dream character had redder hair, little bit different style, perfect face and body, eye color popped out more. Same girl in Valentine's Day dream, question mark. This time I saw her face. Okay, that makes more sense. Because, like, in the other dream I caught that I said... I didn't see her face yet. I thought it was the... I thought I skipped that note. Man, I knew a page was missing. I tried finding this where the picture was missing because I knew I took notes next to the picture. But I guess I gave up looking. Why did I give up looking? Like I remember looking for it. Ha. Ah. Dude, it was the same girl, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Shit. <laughs> what else do I got in this? Sh I was gonna say thing, and then memory popped. What? I do it. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what? Why How come I didn't speaking remember this? Why? Oh shit! I should read this more. Okay, I started flipping through, flipping through the pages, and I drew a little head with an India-looking hat. And I'm trying to read like, what's this about? <laughs> This was April 4th, another a bunch of astral projections. <laughs> <laughs> um. Saying I was born in Iran, question mark. One of those countries. It was India! Okay! I saw my younger self wearing a hat. I thought that... They don't want to show me my past lives and confirm this. I can now communicate with them as of 3-2-10. I also confirmed having three guides, not six. Well, <laughs> I needed more. I had, like, dude, freaking, oh, my God. I could, I could explain that stuff. Um, I just read the last part of that, but now I know it wasn't I ran, it was India. India! <laughs> Shit. Okay, bro, you didn't seriously respond, because that's, like, amazing. <laughs> Man, that part stuck out. That part stuck out. That chain. Why is it? I want to reread it. You could just be listening, though. The atmosphere became serious and emotional and holding each other in each other's arms, sitting up against the wall. She tells me that she loves me. And she seems afraid of my response, which surprised me because I thought it was obvious and I loved her and expected her to be the one that not to love me. Did that happen in the past life or is that just... That seems to be like a freaking pattern with twin flame or, or head, heart. Like, oh my god, biggest smile, though. <laughs> oh, and then it, I can't believe it mentioned marriage. That's so intense. I'm really excited.
<laughs> oh my, okay, six minutes. Okay, I thought this was interesting. Um, there was 22 different races according to this guy of the Andromedan constellation. And yeah, so I look up Andromedan red hair, ET, you know? And freaking Wikipedia takes me to a list of alien races in DC Comics. <laughs> and this one for the Andromedans, it says... <laughs> I'll just read the whole thing. The Andromedans of the Andromeda Galaxy. <laughs> I said that word. Okay. Are a race of superhuman similar to Kryptonians and Daxamidae. I don't know what that says. Okay, this one. They have red hair, albino skin, and blue eyes. And I was like, what the heck? That is so what I'm looking for, but not DC comic wise. But that seems to be like an influence at least. I wonder if I have any... I'm looking through the other aliens. Oh, I don't see Arcturus. Arcturians. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Or Dracos. <laughs> yeah, they're just made up ones from DC Comics. <laughs> Comics. Crazy. But yeah, I'm searching more into this one. <laughs> okay, first I'm going to tell you I looked up the Andromedan, and it sounds like really like the closest alien that I've found so far. Think. <laughs> Just it doesn't list the red hair. Mm. It says like the Caucasian based one is like. Did I say Caucasian? Caucasian. Okay. <laughs> that based one is like, it says it ranges from Nordic types to Mediterra Mediterranean types. Okay, this part. The eyes of all Andromians are slightly larger than those of Earth humans, which totally makes sense. The lips are thin and colored almost a light pink, while the ears are fitted slightly lower on the side of the head and slightly smaller in size. Yeah, he did have small ears. <laughs> My mirror dream, okay. Because mine stick out more in this human life, and his, like, didn't at all. <laughs> the hands and feet are delicate in appearance with long fingers and toes. Okay. Um, yeah, there's nothing about redhead, but it's, there's 22 di different races, and... Yeah, the ranges of Caucasian and Mediterranean, it doesn't really, yeah, there's a possibility, you know, <laughs> it might be this one, um, I'll send you, a linky, this next one. <laughs> is really intense. <laughs>
like so intense, like I got butterflies like in my chest and it's going in my throat. Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I'm like sitting up now. Um, Yeah, that one was... Ah, uh, it's intense. My heart's, like, racing now. Okay, I'll tell you the lead-up. Okay, when I was looking through this and... <sighs> this alien stuff... <laughs> giving good lead ups, you know, testing the heart and all that. They were like they showed me a visual of my past self, the redhead. Um and like yeah, you were you were like nearby too, but I was more in focus, like camera angle wise. You were more like faded. To the left, like, not as close. <laughs> but the voice, it said, there was no baby. And I was like, what? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean there was no baby? Um, see, this is the first that they brought up the baby thing to me. I didn't even, like, really think about that yet. Um, you know, not this much, at least. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> um... So I know how they are with um See, sometimes they use reverse psychology with me. <laughs> it's very interesting to observe myself like how that actually works from time to time. <laughs> I was like, "Wow. That actually works cuz like it's showing me what I know like f yeah, for things, simple things. Anyways. Whew. So, like, that got my attention, and I totally wanted to focus on it. You know, like, if I have questions, like, I look for answers, and I usually get them. Sometimes not right away. Sometimes they'd rather play a game with me. <laughs> you know? Um, damn. Okay, so, like, I was, like, feeling it out, and, um, I saw the redhead holding a baby. I was like, oh my gosh, I knew it. <laughs> I was like, I knew it. <laughs> but then... Yeah, I started asking, like, okay, I forget how, I forget the exactly of how this transferred, but, like, um, I, I asked, like, who I had the baby with, and it showed me, um, Will's past image at first, um, It was a super white looking, like glowing being. Like, with like, it looked way more whiter than usual. That's like light, higher density stuff. Um, remember that pink haired wig girl that I told you about? Oh, it totally makes sense with the Andromians, however you say it. Um, because they also have school schools on their planet. And, um, yeah, it's from that documentary, Alex Collier, that one that I sent you, saying about how their society is and so forth. They go to school for, like, hundreds of years. <laughs> I think it's pretty cool, though. Um, but, yeah... I'll make this 
another note. <laughs> okay, girl. So, like, I wasn't satisfied with that answer, though. Just to leave it at, like, it was with Will's past image. Female. Um, yeah, so, I was like, wait. Um, like, we could have did the multiple partner thing in the alien life, you know? And, um, so I started, like, really trying to feel it. I'm like, you guys, you guys gotta tell me. <laughs> um, I even asked Will, like, he, he's so, I like calling him Will. <laughs> He's so amazing. He's really nice. He, like, he knows, like, I didn't mean to insult him by telling him, like, okay, like, because <laughs> I was still seeing his image when I was trying to feel it. It was really strong. And I was like, yeah, I was, like, trying to ask Will, like, to move aside. Like, <laughs> it's funny. Funny human thinking. I was really wanting the answer, like, like, I knew I would get it, but it's, like, yeah, kind of, like, I want to know, I want to know, I want to know. <laughs> it's, like, I wanted Will's image to move aside and show me who the other girl was, like, if it was you. I really want to know if it was you. <laughs> and, um, Will, he's super nice. I was, like, oh, wait, like, I don't mean to offend you in any way, like, in before I even, like, said sorry, really, like, it was, like, faster, you know? He was, like, um, basically, like, we're best soul friends. Like, he's my best soul friend. Like, really sweet, really fast. Like, don't even let me worry. He's just there. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so, like, Shortly after that, like, okay, I was asking the questions, you know, I was like, did I have a baby with you, you know, that past life redhead stuff, and, um, at first, I had, like, my mind saying no, that was my mind really fast, and then they were like, why did no come up, and I was like, it was, like, a pattern thing, like, negative thought, like, you know, it came up, like, but I, it, they said, why did it come up, and I started to observe it, like, it, it I didn't feel the no at all, like, I didn't feel it, it lacked the feeling, it, it was just the no, like, without me identifying, without me attaching, it was just there, and, like, I still wanted to investigate, <laughs> like, it lacked a feeling, and I was like, okay, so, like, I'm still looking for the answer, so, like, I still feel this out, and then I got a freaking heart thump visual of a yes, like, in the center of my chest, like, in my heart, it, like, pounded with it. And there was, like, a glowing around the yes. And I freaking... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, life is so crazy. <laughs> it's great. Um, okay, so, like, I was actually really shocked at that yes image. I was like, wow, that's really cool. But I was even more shocked at, like, the feeling attached with it. Like, I actually felt my heart, like, this really intense energy, like, building. It, like, started subtle with the image, but then it just grew, like, there's, like, a heart feeling. <laughs> How do you explain that? <laughs> it was just growing. And I was like, oh, my God, it's totally a yes. <laughs> And, um, that makes me really happy. <laughs>
Oh my god, that makes me really happy. Um, yeah, I'm getting a lot of past life visuals. We were really close. Like, I see me as the man, like, sitting, and you're, it's, it's, I'm sitting right now, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, this red-headed woman, she's, like, behind me, and I don't know, we're just, I can tell we were really close. Come on, twin flame, I'm having kids. I'm glad. Man. <laughs> I'm like super happy and thankful. Thank you. Like that stuff means a lot. I really like that image. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> oh my god, a lot. <laughs>